distractions have the power to be like one of your biggest enemies and if you don't control them it's going to be really really difficult to make progress in your life and i remember when i was 15 16 17 18 even sometimes to these days there is certain things that just constantly hold you back or drain your energy takes your focus away from the most important things and whenever you don't control them whenever, whenever you don't remove them it just really becomes hard to actually do whatever you're supposed to do right so i'll give you an example when i was like in high school i, I want to say 16 17 i was addicted to video games i was just playing in hours and hours and hours after school and i was just pretty much that like i was just going to school video games school video games eating junk food junk food was just destroying my you know brain i, I couldn't even think i was getting fat i wasn't working out it was just not a good times you know like i was just super distracted I was binge watching anime a lot and uh, watching shows like things like that like again there is nothing wrong with doing that but if it's like holding you back you gotta let it go you know what I'm saying and that was just me like I was eating junk food video games all the time and I was watching like those BS prawn content you know what I'm saying like hated like those days man I was just destroying your productivity and I know for a fact a lot of you guys out there they're still like addicted to those type of things and you really feel deep down that like you gotta let it go but it just like it sometimes can be hard right and it takes a, little, a bit of time some process you know to get over those things and a lot of these habits that i mentioned they're just hold you back you know what i mean and the moment i realized i'm like bro what am i doing with this shit? like i'm spending hours on video games i'm spending hours on watching bs shows uh, binge watching YouTube videos, unnecessary bullshit content, not even educational stuff. Uh, it was just bullshit entertainment content, right? And I was like, what am I doing? I got to let go of this stuff, right? And then as I was progressing, I was like, I realized, okay, I got to do this. I got to do this. Um, and then I started getting to working out. And then slowly, because of that, I started, you know, reducing my video game time, right? And when you start making these small changes, initially... It's going to be hard, but in the long term, you're going to be seeing huge differences, right? So I was like, I'm wasting my potential. I'm ruining my time. I'm destroying myself. For what? Like I'm getting absolutely nothing from it. And I was like, okay, let's just imagine if I, what's going to happen if I don't really take care of myself, right? If I don't really lock in, I'm going to be fat, no brain to think, no focus, uh, nothing going on for myself alone, uh, not looking good no confidence no good friends it's just gonna be hanging out with losers and all this type of things and i was like oh shit like if i don't like lock in and focus i'm gonna be like a npc just doing whatever that's you know people are supposed to do right like i'm just gonna be consuming bs content and eating bs stuff and i was like it can be scary like i want you to imagine what would you do imagine like if you didn't have any good habits and you wasted your time and you were distracted for many many years how would you feel what of a person would you be like? Are you gonna be like happy? Are you gonna be a person with confidence? No, you're just gonna be a person with like poor mental health. You're gonna be suffering internally and externally. And it's just not gonna be a good look, you know? So the first thing I did, I was like, bro, like what the fuck is gonna happen? Like I gotta really take care of myself, right? I started imagining the bad things. And a lot of times people say, don't really focus on the negatives, but I would say, I'm not saying dwell on it, but like you gotta kind of go there mentally to see, okay, like if I don't do this, this is gonna be my outcome, right? And when you start doing that, you're, you're going to be kind of starting like, you know, being like, okay, I got to take my shit serious, right? Um, so I started doing those things and I felt like, okay, now it's got to, I got to make a change, right? And a lot of people, they try to fix their habits. They try to do certain things and sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't, but it's not consistent. They struggle with the consistency of, you know, re removing the distractions and sticking to the right habits. And for me... I was like, okay, it's time to kind of change those things. I was like tired of my bullshit. I'm playing video games for an hours and hours and hours. Uh, so I ended up just, you know, changing myself. And the reason you're here, I know, is because you were like, okay, how did you remove your distractions? So the way I went about it was pretty much I decided that I got to first pick who I want to become. I got to know who I want to become, right? The who, the identity, right? that's the most important thing because if i don't know who i want who, who i want to become then everything i do is just gonna make no difference right so that's the first thing i ask myself who do i want to become and before i continue 
before I continue with my other points, I want you to like take notes and really pay attention because if you're not learning and if you're not gonna apply, then what's the point, right? So make sure to take notes and at the end of the video, make sure to leave your favorite thing that you learned from these uh, things that I was talking about, right? But back to the main point, I had to decide my identity. I had to decide who I want to become, right? I was like, okay, now I gotta be like a, I, I'm, I want to be a creator. I want to be a person who trains hard and he's fit. He's like, you know, takes care of his mindset and all these type of things. I gotta do certain things and I wanna be a person of value. I wanna be a person of substance. And I was like, okay, if I want to be a person of substance, a person that, you know, is knowledgeable, a person who is healthy and fit and capable, you know, what should I do, right? So I was like, okay, that person trains hard. That person eats clean. You know, he doesn't eat junk food. He doesn't play video games. Um, like he's not, he doesn't have crazy addictions like, you know, prong content or like TV shows and all these type of things. Like they don't struggle, like, you know, they don't have those type of things, right? Because it's a distraction, massive distraction. And for me, even with women stuff, like uh, girls, like I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like a lot of the times, it just takes away a lot of time and energy from me and I get distracted with those things. I used to be distracted way more. And even sometimes, like nowadays, like I, I get like, you know, I would say girls probably are my biggest distraction. But outside of that, it's like most of the distractions are got maybe some social media here and there, like messaging with homies, uh, maybe like sending too many memes to each other. But those are the main things that are kind of holding me back, you know. And I genuinely had to learn it the hard way because I had to go through like two breakups to kind of realize and, you know, take my shit serious. I had to, you know, get fat. I had to, you know, waste a lot of time with video games and you don't have to go through that, right? So when I realized who I want to become, then it was easy for me to, I'm like, okay, now I know who I want to become. How am I, how am I gonna like, you know, you know, what type of things am I gonna do? That person that I decided to become, who's that person really, right? How does he feel? How does he think? What, what are his beliefs? Like, what does he believe? Like, does he believe like, oh, video games every day is okay? Does he believe, oh, eating junk food sometimes is okay? So when, when you do that, you start asking yourself, oh shit, like, that person wouldn't do this, right? So some of the notes that I put is that like, I decided who do I want to become, right? <clears throat> I fixed my beliefs and identity, right? So I started cutting out video games. I started cutting, cutting the prong content, you know? And I was lucky enough because when I was young, I was exposed to you quitting those type of content very early with like the NoFap uh, movement and stuff. And I was lucky when I was like 16, 17, I got exposed to those content and like, I was like, okay, like I can quit this, right? Like it's not the right thing to do. And a lot of the guys nowadays, they're still addicted. They're like in their mid twenties, late twenties, <clears throat> early thirties, or even married in their forties, fifties. There's a lot of guys who have that addiction. And I got lucky because I was able to like, you know, kind of break out of that system and bra break out of those traps and, you know, break that addiction eventually, right? So I was like, you know, I'm grateful for that. And some of the things I cut out was just less content consumption. I, nowadays, I'm more consume more educational content, more coaches, more, uh, you know, positive content that's gonna reinforce me to become a better person, you know? Um, again, I wrote down, like, I cut out woman when I need to, right? Like, I'm not saying, uh, some people say, well, just cut out woman forever. I don't think it's not the best move. I would say it's good to interact with them. It's good to hang out with them, but you got to be very selective with who that woman is, how much time you spend, how much you invest in her, uh, time and energy wise. And a lot of the times, many women just drain you, the wrong woman, but the right woman is going to give you energy and motivation. She's going to, you know, push you to become your best self. So I don't believe that woman drain you. It's just, you got to be selective with which woman you, you know, spend time with. And those things are important because one wrong choice can really lead to you like to cause like a lot of like mistakes and a lot of bad habits, you know, so you got to be careful. Uh, and let's just say someone breaks your heart and you end up going on like a negative rabbit hole. You're going to be having ha bad habits and start consuming the wrong things. And it's going to be even more distractions, right? So you got to be selective with those things and you don't want it to be like no more distractions for you, right? So those are the things that I did specially. I was like, I got to decide who do I want to become, right? So. I want to say the moment you start deciding who you want to become, you naturally just, you know, start finding out, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And you don't struggle with consistency, right? So I would say decide who you want to become. And that's the easiest way to cut out distractions because the moment you decide who do you want to become, you start cutting out the bad habits. You start cutting out the BS and you start imp implementing the right things, the right habits, like training, for example, reading, like I read every day, I train every day. Um, you know, I, pr I create content every day. Like there's all these things that I'm like, okay, what would my best version to the person that I want to become? And boom, I just do that because I know that's me. That's my, like my new version and I have no struggle because I'm like, okay, 
the external world isn't hasn't caught up to who I am actually like in mentally, but eventually it's gonna be there, right? So when I started doing that, everything just started falling in place, right? So you start being the person that you want to become way before you become that person, right? So in, when you do that, everything just becomes smooth, right? So decide the person you want to become, cut the BS and start applying the right things, right? So when you decide who you want to become, again, the identity is the most important things and fix your beliefs. If they don't serve you, they're there to control you, okay? And listen, if you enjoy this video, you know, if you learn some things, drop it in the comments. You know, I wanna see what you learned. I wanna see your experiences. And you know, when people want to change their identity, for example, if you're a bodybuilder, if you want to be like a fitness person, your identity must be shifted. Like you wanna be gaining muscle and stuff. You gotta change internally first. And you're not gonna be playing video games and watching movie content uh, or like, you know, just on stup stupid content or playing video games all day because it's not gonna serve you, right? Speaking of fitness, I actually help men to gain muscle, to get jacked. And listen, if you need help with that, DM me, start on Instagram and I can personally guide you to get there because I know when you transform your body, when you become that person physically and mentally you transform yourself, life becomes different, you feel different, you move different, you act different. All these things plays a huge role when you become your best version physically and also mentally because fitness and the mindset have a lot of correlations to it, right? But these are the things that I help men with, right? And if you see my previous content, like I had my own transformations, like mentally, physically, I went from fat to, you know, being like leaner, skinnier. I went over skinny fat, I got jacked. I went through all these journeys, so I, I can help you, I wanna help you and listen, I just want to appreciate you for watching this video. Hope you apply everything that you learned and take care of yourself.